I have been playing this game for countless hours and I only realized recently that you can actually mix and match roll outfit items. Now to be honest I've never been a huge fan of the kind of outfits that they add with the rolls which is probably why I've never noticed this before but I also haven't heard anyone else talking about this so I'm not quite sure how many people actually know you can do this. So please let me know below in the comments if you knew this all along or if this was news to you also. This is an extremely easy thing to do, albeit it's a bit limited on what you can actually do with this and it's a lot more expensive to do this than just purchase one singular outfit. But if you're really looking for that certain look with a roll, maybe it might be worth it for you. So the way this works is you can mix and match the upper halves with the bottom halves of all outfits that you have purchased within a certain roll. You sadly won't be able to change the boots, but you can use whatever hat or set of gloves that you want in your outfit. So once you click on a roll outfit, you can then click the bumper buttons on your controller. So on PS5, that'd be R1, L1, which will navigate you between top halves and bottom halves. You can only mix and match with any outfits that you own for that particular roll. So for example, with the Moonshiner rolls, we can take this bright yellow pants from the day chart Moonshiner outfit and match it with any of the other four Moonshine outfit tops that you own. If you have different colorways on the, the upper or lower parts, you can flick between them also. And that's pretty much it. I have no idea how I've never realized that you could do this and I'm really curious to know how many people know that you can actually do this. So please let me know in the comments below. To give a few more examples of what you can do uh, doing this, I put together an outfit for each role. For the collector role, I just wanted a darker version of the London Derry. So what I did was use the black coat from the London Derry outfit and the darker pants from the same outfit with a black version of the Londonderry hat. Finally, I just used a darker version of the Webster halter and gun belt. For the Moonshiner outfit, I wanted to use the Wilkboro top, but I wanted to remove the pajama looking pants, so I used the Gatling Berg pants, and then I used the Pittsburgh hat. I went with the homely gloves, as well as the gray and gold Levin belt and holster. For the Bounty Hunter, I just picked the top half of the Bullard and the lower half of the Wekini outfit and I used the darker versions of the Thorogood hat and gloves with that. For the Trader outfit, I just wanted a darker version of the Monterey outfit, so I used the black top from that, then I used the black pants and boots from the same outfit, as well as the black Monterey hat. I used the darker versions of the Goodman belt and holster also. Really not a huge fan of the naturalist outfits at all, but for the sake of it, I put together this. So the top half is from the Hemington outfit with the bottom half of the Kenwick. So at least I have some shoes when I'm running around. The hat is from the Tilson outfit and I also used the Torborn belt and holster. So that's pretty much it. I spent a scary amount of money on making these different variations, which is kind of like the main problem with doing this. And that is that like, for example, when I was doing the Monterey outfit, I wanted a black hat, black pants, and black top. So I actually had to purchase three different outfits, each one having one of those particular items in it. So that's pretty expensive. To be fair, once you purchase one of these outfits, you should, by right, be able to use that pants or top on any other outfit that you have. I'd imagine though that would take a lot of time to test the individual items with other clothing items, so it's a lot easier for Rockstar just to, to lock the items into the roll. So again, if you've known this all along, please let me know in the comments. And if this is the first time you've ever heard or known that you could do this, please also let me know in the comments. I'm really curious and I'm amazed that I haven't noticed that you can do this before. So that's it. Catch you all in the next one.